Dearly beloved, for so much as our Savior Christ said, none can enter into the kingdom of God except to be regenerated and born anew of water and of the Holy Ghost, I beseech you to call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ that of his bounteous mercy he may grant to this person that which by nature he cannot have, that he may be baptized with water and the Holy Ghost and receive into Christ's holy church and to be made a living member of the same. Well, bounteous is definitely a word for changing in the next one, are we not? Let us pray. Almighty and immortal God, the aid of all who need and the helper of all who flee to thee for succor, the life of those who believe, and the resurrection of the dead, we call upon thee for this thy servant, that he, coming into thy holy baptism, may receive remission of sin by spiritual regeneration. Receive him, O Lord, as he has promised the little son, saying, Ask, and you shall receive. See, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. So give now unto us who ask. Let us who seek find. Open the gate unto us who knock. This thy servant may enjoy the everlasting benediction of thy heavenly watching, and may come to the eternal joy which you have promised in Christ our Lord. Amen. And hast is another word we're going to definitely take now. Celeste, can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. I need that towel out of that for a second. Okay. I'm going to do the uh, reading because we're given a couple choices here in gospel readings. Uh, but I think I want to do the St. Mark's one right on the bottom of the page. Here. So here are the words of the gospel written by St. Mark in the 10th chapter of the 13th verse. And, and they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw them, he was indignant, and he said to them, Let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for so much belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter. And he took them into his arms, and he blessed them, and he laid his hands upon them. And now, God, parents, this is for you. Um, let me show you up right here. Has this person been already baptized? No. Oh. Thank you. That's just a straightforward answer. There we go. Now we'll go right to the um, second page here. And page four. Well, beloved, we have come here desiring... Well, beloved, you have come here, Matthew, desiring to receive holy baptism. We have prayed that our Lord Jesus Christ would vouchsafe to receive you, to release you from sin, to sanctify you with the Holy Ghost, and to give you, a, and give you the kingdom of heaven and everlasting life. So now, Matthew, do you renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and the glory of the world, with all covetous desires of the same, and the sinful desires of the flesh, so that you will not follow nor be led by them? I renounce them all, and by God's help, will endeavor not to follow nor to be led by them. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God? I do. Do you accept Him and desire to follow Him as your Savior and Lord? I do. Do you believe in all the articles of the Christian faith and contained in the Apostles' Creed? I do. Will you be baptized in this faith? That is my desire. Now to you, everyone here, will you be obedient to keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life? I am willing will by God's help. O oh, merciful God, grant that this, that like as Christ died and rose again, so this servant may die and of sin and rise to a newness of life. Amen. Amen. Grant that all sinful affections, affections may die in him, and that all things belonging to the Spirit may live and grow in him. Amen. Amen. Grant that he may have power and strength to have victory and to triumph over the devil and the world and the flesh. Amen. Amen. Grant that whosoever is here dedicated to thee by your office and ministry may also be endued with heavenly virtues 
and everlasting rewarded through thy mercy, O blessed Lord God, who dost live and govern all things, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is just and right to do It is very right, meet and right, and are bound to do that we should always give thanks to thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, for that I dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins, did shed out of his most precious side both water and blood, and gave commandment to his disciples that they should go teach all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Regard, we beseech thee, the supplications of the congregation. Sanctify this water with the mystical washing away of sin, and grant that this servant now be baptized herein, may receive the fullness of thy grace and ever remain in the number of thy faithful children through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom with thee and the unity of the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. I imagine what you to the colonel. <clears throat> Now, some people do shells, some people dump them in water, that's okay. What I'm going to ask you to do is lean over here, and this is a hands-on type operation, I'm very low case. Matthew, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Yeah, one. There you go. You're still holy, you can even if you dry it off. <laughs> we receive this person in the congregation of Christ's flock. Do the sign on him at the sign of the cross and the token hereafter that thou shalt, be ashamed, shalt not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ. And manifestly to fight under this banner against sin in the world and the devil. And to continue Christ's faithful soldier and servant until his life's end. Amen. Matthew, you are marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Seeing now, dear beloved brethren, that this person is regenerated and grafted into the body of Christ's church, let us give thanks to Almighty God for those benefits which one accord make our prayers unto him that this person may lead the rest of his life according to this beginning. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We yield you hearty thanks, most merciful Father, that thou hast pleased thee with the regeneration of the servant. With the Holy Spirit, receive him for thine own child, to the incorporate in him into thy holy church. And humbly we beseech you to grant that he, being dead unto sin, may live unto righteousness, and being buried with Christ in his death, may also be a partaker of his resurrection, so that finally, with the, residue, with the residue of thy holy church, he may, by the inheritor of thine everlasting kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family of heaven and earth is named, grant you to be strengthened with the might of his Holy Spirit in the inner man, that Christ dwelling in your hearts by faith may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Greet each other as brothers in Christ and welcome Matthew into the our flock. Thank you so much for all this. Please, please, please. 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 Please,